It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the challenger, Habib the Eagle. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Chico. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with round one. You are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker. We have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. If he can make contact, he can drag this fight to the mat. I expect... All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates distance and space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Nowadays, you see guys just throwing little shots that don't really matter. Very few guys now are committed to ground and pound as they were in the past. I mean, how many can he take? Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nurmagomedov. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Looks like he's trying for submission now. He's attacking armbar now. Let's go, break it. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. And this might just be a matter of time. Close guard. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. 35 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Right hand punch from the clinch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Powerful leg kick land. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. And there comes the separation now. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand his strike with anybody in the UFC. 
Oh, tagged him with the uppercut, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He was so used to punches coming straight, he didn't see the hook. I'm sorry, he didn't see the uppercut coming from underneath. Nice kick. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nermago Medoff. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Maybe an opportunity to get a choke here. Yeah, he lifts the head and goes under. Looks like he's trying to get a bulldog choke. Oh, wow. Oh! Oh, God. All right, so a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay, if you will. A lot of good action. But punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the round. that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. Nurmagomedov gets the takedown. Single leg takedown attempt here, and did that get you out of your seat? Beautifully done by him there. Oh, man, I jump up and down. Am I watching the Olympics or a mixed <laughs> martial arts fight? You don't see single legs this good unless you're watching a real high-level wrestler. Chase the submission finish. Finish the submission. He's working, he's Somehow stays in the fight. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Close guard. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Ooh! Oh! All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. But how about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Oh, nice job working hard, posting and getting back up. Nurmagomedov's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, no surprises, he connects once again, and that looked like a win. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now, because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. 
Nice single. Just over two minutes to go. And he landed the right hand there. Under two minutes now to go in round two. Oh, he's going for his arm now. Why is he not recognizing this right now? He's got to recognize this is dangerous. This is a dangerous position. Oh, now he's in trouble. And there it is! Yo, wow! That was nasty! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that is high-level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So what a moment for the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world getting it done tonight and with style points as he submitted.